Welcome back to my survival playthrough world. Now, for those of you who have been watching, we've built some pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff, like this gigantic castle, that portal hub over there, which I must admit is pretty cool. I actually quite like this. We've also built this fishing house and this gigantic farm. Which looks like it's on top of a castle, and that's because it is. Like, it's literally raised and walled. Oh, also there's a uh, beehive platform on top of a tree. And a farmhouse. So I was thinking, what should I build next? And it kind of got me thinking. In history, well even modern days as well, Lighthouses are used to ward off sailors from, or warn sailors, I guess you could say, of dangerous waters so they wouldn't crash into uh, rocks and reefs. Now, this little island that uh, has necks and boars and deers on them uh, also has a lot of hidden rocks underneath that I keep forgetting about because I'm stupid. Uh, and I always crash into them because my little harbor's just over there. So, what I was thinking, why not build a lighthouse? But not just any lighthouse. Why not build a lighthouse to the maximum height that I can? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally I'm literally just gonna build a lighthouse as tall as I possibly can. Now I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Uh I am genuinely curious. Uh I'm literally just gonna wing it. I have an idea in my head, but editing Brendan later on, I'll put it right here for you guys. I have no idea what it's going to look like that. Well, it, it already looks like that for you guys. But anyway, I hope it looks, does it look cool? I hope it looks cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go and build it. Now, every cool tower, like in, in like fantasy games and movies and all that kind of stuff, they all have like cool names, you know, like the Tower of Orthanc from War of the Rings and stuff like that. So I'm curious what I should name this, uh, this tower. So... Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, put a comment down. Uh, and whichever one I like the most, I'll pin it. And that'll be the name of this tower. Now, I'm just going to uh, evict the local population. Uh, because I need to repurpose this little island. That's a big fish. All right, now that the previous inhabitants have uh, moved, I'm going to clear out this area and then we'll level it. No, we'll raise it and then level it. Get a bit of a platform to work from and then build the tower on top of that platform. So I'm going to go and do that now. All right, so that's the max I can raise it to. All right. Although it won't be that everywhere, I'm pretty sure, actually. I don't know. Man, why does it always rain when I do something outside? It just ruins my stam. That's going to take so long. Ah. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. On the plus side, it's like, it's not too much area that I need to fill in, but I can just segment it like this and then fill in, in like in, in the gap. And then it's less stone that I need to use, which is I'm more for. Because mining stone sends me crazy. Oh, that is one very nice. Is it nice? I don't know. But it's a platform either way. I uh, kind of overestimated how big of a platform I needed. Uh, you know, the, you know, the age old adage, uh, measure twice, cut once. I didn't measure at all. <laughs> I just, you know, put it down, but yeah. Anyway, this is my marker stone. So I'll do a ring here and then I'll fill in that ring with the floor, like the stone floor. Now, a lot of you guys who are actually watching aren't subscribed. Uh, help me out. <laughs> if you enjoy this video at all, you think the builds are cool. You know, if, if you laugh at my misfortune, uh, you know, Hit subscribe, doesn't cost anything. Smack the like button, drop a comment if you want. Uh, it'd be awesome to hear from you. But uh, yeah, it helps out a lot. So if you want, 
please subscribe. Uh, yeah, if not, fine. But uh, yeah, consider it. Anyway, we're going to get this ring done and then fill in the floor. Perfect. All right, cool. This is just the marker for the back. They're like the front door will be here. That's, yeah, sweet. That's a good size. I should really move all that stuff up here. Uh, first, though, I just want to get the center pole in. Because uh, there's, I'm going to have to have a pole that runs. I think it's iron metal pole that runs from the center all the way up to the top, which branches out. And that will give, like, structural integrity to the whole thing. So, not a deal, but, uh, you know, it's necessary to be able to get it as high as I possibly can. So, I'm going to measure that out. Dude, that is a massive fish. That's a huge fish. Gee. There we go. A perfectly centered. Oh. A perfectly centered uh, iron pole. So that will run from here the whole way up. All right. I'm going to clear this out and start building the actual stone walls. So I'm going to get that done. Jeez, you can get the stone pretty high without any, like, support, like, you know, attached to it. Because if I, I attach that, I can get it even higher, but I won't. I'm going to get it this high. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a stone wood transition. So I'm going to get the stone this high. Now, partially because, like, if a stone can't go the whole way and stones are, like, just, I'm going to go insane collecting that much stone. So I'll go stone here. And then I'm going to cut it into wood and then do wood for the rest. So it'll go like way higher. But I'll make it look good. I'll make it look good. I'll make it look good. Trust. Trust. Will I die if I fall from here? It's a good thing I landed on the stone cutter. 5 HP. You know what? This actually isn't that expensive of stone, which is weird. Like it's a weird thing to say. Like I can actually, I can probably calculate it. Yeah, so to, to do one of these, one of these rows is like one stack of stone and I can carry pretty much four each time. So these, this four is from like one run and then I can do another four in one run and then another four. And then I think it's, I think it's like, um, it'll be like one, two, three, four, like five runs and I'll have all the stone done, which is like, that's pretty good. Like it's not, not too bad. Like the I mean, stone castle is way worse. Or the portal hub. Like this, this, this is actually pretty cheap compared. So that's not bad. Oh. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I uh, I have a sneaking suspicion. I mean, that's that's the first time I've died from fall damage so far. But I have a sneaking suspicion that that's going to be a bit of a reoccurring thing. Anyway. Now, I, I know you're probably thinking, like, Brendan, why don't you just build ladders around this and just build it up? And that's a really good question. Because it only just dawned on me. Why aren't I doing that? But I've come this far now. I mean, I may as well finish. But yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh, well. Oh! Yes. We now have a stone ring. That's awesome. All right, cool. So now, it'll go from stone to wood. But first, I should probably be smart and actually put in a ladder. So, yeah. Thanks for all the suggestions with the ladders, guys. Really appreciate it. I really should have done that. That would have made this so much easier. But I'm stubborn and I'm stupid. All right. Let's boost the height a little. Oh, I'm at a... Never mind. All right. So, what I'm thinking I'll do is three planks and then a gap with, like, X's. I think might look good. Ooh. Actually, yeah, I got a good idea. Hang on. Let me, let me, let me get this round in. And then uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you what I'm... I think actually. Ooh, all right. 
This isn't ideal. If I jump on the water, am I going to die? I'm up pretty high. Oof. All right. I had to do it from the outside as well because I couldn't get the snap right. Before everyone grills me in the comments. Is that right? I can't do oh, Why does it have to be nighttime when I finish this? I'm pretty sure it's right. I like how I'm moving, like that makes a difference. I'm pretty sure it's right. Alright, let's just get the ladder a tiny bit higher. Just so I can do what I'm thinking that oh that actually reaches the wood that's so good all right so i've done three levels of wood so that's basically like i think that's probably what i'll do i'll do three wood gap three wood gap three wood pop i don't know also i'm crazy high and i'm only like probably half of the way up probably i don't know like i'm gonna go a lot higher but this is like like this is real high i'm almost beehive level all right all right this will look good this will look cool maybe i hope what's it dude that fish is massive look at the size of that fish that's Seriously huge. Also, you can see all like the rocks that are kind of around as well. That I always crash into. To be honest, like this probably won't stop me from going down here if it's gonna make me crash into the rocks more because I'll be too busy. I'll just be admiring the tower, just being like, oh man, it's so cool. And then I'm boom, crash into a rock and I'll be like, damn it. Ah, I mean either. At least it'll look good. All about the looks, right? There we go. Okay. That should. Yeah, that looks cool. I mean, it looked better as it goes up. And then I'll probably do some like decorative things around the outside as well. But it'll look better as it goes up. It'll be kind of like a blend of different woods. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. On to another three. Honestly, building with wood. So much easier. So much cheaper than. Uh, stone because stone like you know, like while you can do things that'll make it quicker you know you, you you know get a little bit quicker by like hitting the right rocks and you know popping them and that kind of stuff but yeah you can like you know pop the rocks and stuff like that especially if it's like copper and stuff like that but yeah wood so much easier one tree is like what's it like one tree is like 20 a 20 about 20 20 something wood on our stats like this is hard difficulty so there's no boosted stats uh, Jesus that's gonna be big that's what she said oh my god that is yeah, okay, that's crazy. What a completely unrelated note. That looks sick. This is, I mean, this whole tower is kind of by accident because I haven't really planned it out, but it's turning out pretty cool. But that, this is like, is that happy accident? It looks awesome. I'm looking forward to like the decoration of it, like the sprucing up. That would be good. Surely I'm, oh, I'm so close to the height of the, uh, you can actually see the bees. They're loving life. Oh! That's gonna be the dumbest way I've ever died to fall damage. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna cap this off and then figure out what I wanna do next because I don't actually know what I'm gonna do after this. Ugh. I'm pretty sure 
bonfires can be placed on top of iron beams. So that should work in theory. Alright, what is it we need? One Sertling Core. No, not that many. Five Ancient Bark. Where's our Ancient Bark? I can't remember where we put it. Oh. Of course, it's the last one I checked. Uh, and then it was just, yeah, five fine wood, five core wood. Repair my kit and then get back to it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the beacons are lit. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go. We are cooking. Boom. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. That's not good. As I'm walking around the top of this uh, beam, or I mean, even beforehand, you guys may be thinking as well, why wouldn't you have just planted a tree? and then built around that. And that is an excellent question. Sorry, were you expecting an answer? Nah, I mean, to be fair, like, I, I wanted to do it, like, legit. Like, I didn't want to cheese it. So I wanted to actually build something that the highest that I possibly could without cheesing it with, like, terrain. Well, I mean, like, I know I love the ground, but you know what I mean? Like, like a tree, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want to, didn't want to cheese it with that. But you definitely could, like a hundred percent could plant a tree and then build a circle around the tree and just build upwards. You'd actually be able to get really high because by the time the tree finishes, that's where the foundation would end. So you'd be able to get pretty much what I've built from like the tip onwards. So yeah, it'd be, it'd just be ridiculously big. It would look really cool, but considering how many times I've fallen and died, um, I'm good at. All right, now I got that right. I don't know. I just had a dumb moment there. Like I said, it's like it's early in the morning on a on a weekday. Uh, I do have work tomorrow, but um, yeah. Tired, so it's fine. Ah! Okay, that's a design flaw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, I also just realized I closed off um, the spot that I'm supposed to go up. There we go. I really... Uh, Will I survive if I jump from up here? Oh, I need to repair all that as well. Surely if I die, if I jump in like a deep spot, I'll survive, right? Oof, perfect. That's a quick way down. <laughs> it's a long fall. Oh. Yes. That's cool. Ooh. All right, that's all those done anyway. That's the balcony good. I'll, <laughs> it's just, they're not really doing anything. Do I bother them? Yeah, I better get down and stop them. Uh, all right. I am Paul Agib Atreides. Whoosh. Whoa. Oh, they're kind of quick. 
Oh, they're kind of quick in the water. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Out of here, bro. Jesus. Bro, they... <laughs> why? Bro bonked me. Yo, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the first time I've seen it. It's on the ground. Oh, God. I need to run. Hmm. Will this look good? I don't know. Like a way of kind of making the start of the wood look thicker. Go with you. Um, but like in a de decorative way. So. So. Yeah. Yeah, I like the staircase. It's like not perfect. It's kind of a bit, you know, chaotic. Works with the land a bit. Definitely need to do something with a stone because it's too blank. And I have an idea. Oh, what's well, uh, I have an idea on what I want to do with a stone. But first, I want to do something down here quickly because it's what I want to do down here. We need to wait a bit of time for it to finish. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. Yeah. There you go. Some greenery. Some trees. And uh, might do a bit of a bridge from the mainland over. Because, I mean, why not? Look cool, right? At this point, why am I doing any of this? Uh, I'm going to do it anyway, though. Oh, we are done. Rising into the sky. Ugh. A beast of a lighthouse. I, I, I started this out being like, ah, oh, I'll just use a portal to get over there. But I, yeah, I kind of want to, I put a bridge. You see my other castle build? You know, I like a good bridge. Some nice trees. Make it a bit greener. Staircase all done. And then to the top. And how's that for a view? Oof. We are out there. This has been an absolute monster of a build. If you're curious, it's taken me literally a whole week, starting Monday, finishing this now, Saturday at 2 a.m. So it's been a massive build. Uh, so if you did enjoy it, thought the build was cool, laughed along the way, whatever, hit the subscribe button for me. It helps me out heaps. Smack the thumbs up button. And if you want to see me build something else, put a comment down. Tell me what you want to see me build. I enjoy building games. I enjoy building in these survival games, especially Valheim. It's, it's sick. Uh, I genuinely love this game. So put a comment down. Tell me what you, uh, you want to see me build next. Anyway, thank you for hanging around to the very end. You guys are a real one. I will catch you next time.